right, guys, welcome back here to the Gulf Oil 500. All right, let's keep on going here as we, of course, are going to round about uh, the 250, uh, 260th lap or mile here. So let's roll some dice here real quick as we roll on here through. So the top group is going to be the one that we're going to be seeing here. So one and then four will be TV. I'm not sure if you guys can see that in the camera lens there, but it'll be uh, TV will be who we're doing here. So let's see that here. Maybe I can move this right up here for you guys. That way you can see it just a little bit better there. There you go. That might be just a tiny bit better for you guys, just so you guys can always see it there. Move the mic just a tiny bit there. All right, so we have one and then four, which will be TV. So in the top group, the only two drivers who will be actually tested here will be Julie Justice and Mooch Thomas. Let's see if they can make some moves here against Parnell Drake, uh, Pepper Drake, number 70 car here. Okay, so a four here for Julie Justice, and he passes his um, check there. But let's see if the four here will be what we look for. So it looks like Parnell Drake only has two brake bonuses, and so that means Julie Justice will actually move up here, and Parnell Drake will move down. So we already see some movement here already in this action shot here. All right, let's move again here. Okay, so a one here, so he'll pass by that, but Julie Justice will pass by that two there for us. And so, my friends, that will be the uh, the actual move there. So, Mooch Thomas will not be able to make him play against Julie Justice for the top spot. And that, my friends, will be end this 10-mile stretch as we start off the 260th uh, mile. And we're going to go to the pit stop real quick here. Let's enter into pick row here as we roll the dice here real quick on our end. Okay, so we have a one here, so it looks like we're going to do two and three. So it looks like two and three here. Brooks Bilovich will switch out with Jeff Daly Jr. here. Jeff Daly Jr. is going to move on up as he turns into pit row there. And then number two and three here in the middle group will be the ones that will switch up. So Monica Merrick and Marlon McGarry and Greg Carl and Sean Hashigan will be the ones that move up. And if you guys notice here really as well, it's a great opportunity for them because, it, you know, really there's just a fantastic amount of maneuvers here as uh, Monica Merrick hasn't yet broke the top seven. And it would be fantastic to see that actually occur. Uh, really would be. So let's see what we have here for our um, focus group, which I will be the top group plus the leader here for fast pit. So let's do our fast pit checks here as we roll the dice here. Okay, so we're going to do our fast pit check. So 11 here for um, Pete McAtee. He has a 9 fast pit, so he'll fail that one here. Ray Bob Walker. Oops. Daisy there. A 9. His fast pit's a 10, so he will get a performance chip. Good for him there. Let's put that right there for him on that section there. Okay, let's roll some dice real quick here. Okay, 7 there. Okay. Let's see here. 7. Okay. Seven for Parnell Drake. He has a six there, so he won't be moving up. How about this, guys? I'm just trying to make it a little easier for myself, just because of the new uh, area that I'm in. I'm going to actually move this up just a little bit and see if by chance I can move my uh, my uh, little area here to kind of make it easier for me to kind of show you guys uh, the area. I think this looks pretty good. doesn't look terrible. Too bad, really, here. So maybe I can then uh, roll the dice and show you guys right here in this little section right here. So uh, that'll be easier for me to roll some dice there for you guys. That way you guys can see it, no problem here. Okay. All right, so uh, one and two there. So one and two will be three. And it looks like three for Brooks Bilovich is a five fast pit. So he will uh, get a performance chip. Okay, here we go. All right, seven. So seven here for Jeff Daly Jr. He is a 10, so he'll get one as well. Let's keep on moving here. Moving on up here. Four. Mooch Thomas has a six fast pit, so he will get one as well. Okay. And then Julie Justice with a nine here. He has a seven there, so he himself will get one as well. So good for him there. And of course, when we do this, we actually have to readjust everybody. But as you guys can see here, no one in the middle section actually has one. Right? They don't actually have a... Uh, uh, sectional or they don't have any uh, actual uh, performance chips besides Lonnie Lane there so what we're actually going to do is just move over to the top group here and that means Ray Bob Walker will be the one that actually moves up and uh, Parnell Drake will move down and then there you have it so with that being said we now have to now um, talk about 
um, who's going to make the play here, or the play to move uh, against Julie Justice. So let's see what we have here. All right, so we have two, and we have a four. So number two here, Jeff Daly Jr., and without any chance or hesitation, he will go up against, no problem, with a four, because he has a five gas pedal, he'll go against Julie Justice. Now, of course, with them both having performance chips, we have to see whether they're going to use them with the dot there, or if we're not going to use it without the dot. So let's roll some dice real quick here and see if they're going to use or keep them. And it was a it was a use. So both of them are actually going to use their pit, uh, their pit uh, performance chips um, when they actually did fight it out when they did their performance uh, check there. But nonetheless, Jeff Daly Jr. does take the lead there. And now, as you guys can see, we have a smattering of performance chips in the top group. But only Lonnie Lane in that 45 Chevy will be the one that takes the spot there. So. Um, definitely really interesting as, of course, we saw Julie Justice continue for the lead there, but now Jeff Daly Jr. is back on top for a 20-mile stretch here. All right, so we're going to continue on with our lap lead here as they exit the pit row here. All right, so we have... Uh, one, so the top group's going to get some action again there. And then, of course, we're going to see uh, nine. So nine will be over to here, of course, as you guys can see here. Take out the pit there for us. All right, so that'll be reflex. Okay, so a lot of the uh, top guys are going to have to make reflex checks here uh, against uh, Jeff Daly Jr. as he came out of that pit hot. So let's see what happens here. So uh, Parnell Drake will be the first one who will be making the maneuvers here. So let's give him some dice to roll here. Oh, that's two, two reds there. That's not good. All right, so let's roll some dice here for him. All right, triple sixes, folks. Now with triples, if you guys, as you guys know there, um, I'm just kind of reading on my end on this section here. I always like to keep the rule book out here uh, because there are so many dang rules here because like if you have like one triples or anything like that. Um, but anytime, let's see here. Triple, I think if it's a triple... So let's see, I think it's a problem. Let me check real quick on my end. Okay, so let's pull out, as I looked it up here, I checked and saw that we actually have to look over to the problem finder here. So the problem finder, because we are gonna utilize the red and white here, it's gonna be for um, Parnell Drake here, who is the one that will be in check, or the one that's in, I guess you'd say, in the issue here so let's see what happens so 63 is what we rolled here so it says for 63 here um unscheduled pit stop unspecific reason roll for repair oh boy there so that's not going to cause a yellow flag so or yellow uh oh crap that was weird a uh, yellow a <laughs> yellow uh well, we'll say yellow turn, yellow flag turn here. So um, that was, man, my brain just kind of gave up there. But um, because it is a problem, we're gonna actually do a pit repair. And for Parnell Drake, he has a B. I'm not sure if you guys can see that there, but he has a B rating for his right there. And we are in, um, we are in the middle third there for him. So a B rating. And because the pit crew is right here in the Gulf Coast Motor Speedway, it's minus one. So he would normally need a seven, but now he gets a six or less and it causes it. And why am I rolling with the, uh, rolling with the two red and white? I apologize, guys, there. All right, here we go. Parnell Drake here, rolling here. All right, so that'll be a five. So he does um, make it out there, but he did have to go into the pit stop there. Um, so he will move all the way down to the 41st spot there, and we will have to fill in the group here um, behind. So let's fill it in real quick here. Um, I guess, you know what? I think we're supposed to fill in the gap um, at the end, I believe. So let's see here. Um, I think, because I'm just reading over real quick here. Um, when a driver in the top or middle group or the race is collected, it will have leave an open space before the end turn ends. Gotcha. So we leave it open like this until turn ends, and then we will move it forward. So no yellow flag was caused there, but we will go over to Ray Bob Walker here, and uh, we'll roll for him because he is up for his reflex check against the champion here or the leader here, uh, Jeff Daly Jr. So three, he passes that one, and then a four which does nothing but a two. So Jeff Daly Jr. will win that one. He will win the challenge. But if you guys see here, he has a performance chip, and that's where Ray, Rob, Ray Bob Walker will use to be able to get ahead 
and take the lead here, guys, in the uh, 207 or 280th mile here. But Brooks Bilovich has a reflex as well. Let's see how that goes out for him. So a five, he has a four gas pedal, so he won't be able to do that. Utilize that. Julie Justice right down here, as you guys can see, has a reflex as well. So let's roll that as well. Okay, a three, he passes that, and a four. So let's see how Ray Bob Walker uses that. So he has one for having reflex, two for having a double reflex, then a three for the burst that he has on his card, and then multiple. So he overtakes basically anything when it comes to reflex. He's very, very sharp. So Julie Justice cannot take over, and that's it, because Moose Thomas does not have reflex. So it looks like to us now here, guys, 280, it looks like uh, Ray Bob Walker has taken the lead again and is making a move as well. A lot of big names here have uh, taken the top spot. Tom Rossi, uh, Julie Justice, Ray Bob Walker, and Jeff Daly Jr. here. So let's fill in the gap real quick here for him. Now with R Lonnie Lane here, um, we will have to um, roll the die um, to see if by chance the um, next group down driver, Lonnie Lane, will actually have, will have the ability to take the gas pedal. So let's roll there. So he has a three, and he has a gas pedal of three. So he will move up, which is great for him. So let's see that maneuver there for him. Greg Carr will move up. Marlon McGarry will move up. Then Swanny Swain will move up there. So a lot of drivers getting close. I can see Monica Merrick, a fan favorite, moving up. And unfortunately, it looks like Chris Wine in that car, man, he would have been awesome here. But Chuck Tafaro will be the next one who's going to be tried and tested here. And a Hyundai, a three. So the Hyundai 30 car driven by Chuck Tufaro, will be moving into the middle group. So good for him. It's exciting to see the small-time drivers here uh, make maneuvers. So let's roll into the next area here. Okay, so the next mile stretch here, 10-mile stretch. So a 2 and then a five, 7 there. So let's see here. So a 2 and a 7. Okay, so 2-7 will be for the top group, and a 7 will be skill. So after all that maneuvering we're gonna hunker down and do some skill checks here real quick so the skill checks for these guys are gonna be pretty heavy of course as they are great drivers and uh, we're gonna go starting off with Pete McAtee who is very good and let's see so a three so he'll pass that but then Ray Bob Walker he has um, one burst two bonus breaks so he will uh, keep a hold of Pete McAtee with that one Jeff Daly Jr. gets two attempts because he's a double star, but the six red will stop him for the first gas pedal check. Let's roll again here for the gas pedal check. Two, he will pass that. And a four blue, so Ray Bob Walker has one burst and two break bonus. Jeff Daly Jr. says, no way, Jose, you're not getting to pass me here. Ray Bob Walker will continue here, folks, as uh, he continues forward uh, to take the lead again here, folks. The lead has changed once more. This has been a fantastic, phenomenal race here. Lots of race uh, lead changes already. Seven lead changes here. Brooks Bilovich with a performance chip. So he rolls a 3-6-6 six, six there, guys. So with that, that means he will not pass his gas pedal check, and he cannot use that performance chip. But if you remember, he still is in the top group, so that's good for him. Julie Justice is next to see if he's going to make the chance to move on up. Julie gets this 2 here, passes by the gas pedal check, and a 5. So let's see. So two skill checks, one burst, and then all the way up to two because of those bonus breaks. So Julie Justice's um, maneuver will not be able to get past him. So Mooch Thomas in the start, Dietrich's Coffee, trying to taste the solid victory here. A uh, two is no problem, but that one blue will absolutely stop the attack here. But because he has a performance chip, my friends, Mooch Thomas, for the first time in his race career in the 2016 uh, scram season, will move up to the top spot and occupy the top spot from the big dogs, 290. Folks, put it in the record books. You may not see this again. Moose Thomas is leading the race here for a 10-mile stretch. Good for him here, guys. Fantastic. All right, so let's keep rolling here for the 300th mile as we keep on going around and around. Again, guys, I cannot thank you enough for all of your feedback. Drop a like in the comment section below there, guys. I absolutely adore it. It really helps me continue this series. Any series that I see doesn't get very many likes or views, of course, but the likes are the main thing. If I see a lot of likes, I'll continue with the series. And if I don't see any likes, then I don't really think that anyone actually likes it enough to where they want to provide feedback for it. So uh, if you guys want to keep seeing this series, please drop a like every time that you see a video come out. 
uh, because it does allow me to know directly that you guys want to see more of red, white, and blue racing. I do want to try to see if I can film uh, up to 30 races here for you guys. So any way I can do that, I absolutely will. All right, so let's try this out here, guys, as we, of course, are starting up here. Uh, let's see, that's a nine here. So three, so middle nine, which will be reflex. So the bottom, the middle driver is going to have to do some reflex checks here. So let's get on rolling here as there's a lot of reflex drivers, it looks like. So Cam Croyle in the 68 car will be the first one here. So that's a five. He has a four gas pedal, so he will not be able to make any maneuvers. So let's keep on going down the list here to reflex to Marlon McGarry here in the 12th position here. A four. He has a four. He's going to go up to chat, try out Brooks Bilovich with a three here. Now Brooks has a one reflex because he has that. And then break bonus, but he does not want to give it up because he lost there. He will use his performance chip to stave off uh, Marlon McGarry's reflex check. All right, Greg Carl here over here in the 11th place here. Four. He will not be able to pass the gas pedal check. He only has a three. All right, Monica Merrick making her moves possibly. Four, she does with that gas pedal check. Ray Bob Walker in fifth position will be the guy we're looking at. And then so reflex twice plus a gas pedal check or a, plus a brake break check. And then he has a bonus four, so he'll fend off the three check there for him. And that'll be it there for that maneuver as the reflex for the middle group. And that, my friends, will keep Mooch Thomas in the top spot again. And so the bottom didn't really see too much maneuvers, but we did see Brooks Bilovich uh, continue his uh, rain up top so good for him there that will be a fantastic finish there as Brooks Bilovich actually started if you guys remember when we actually started this up here I'm just kind of looking at where we started he started ninth and so this would be a phenomenal finish for him but nothing more phenomenal than Mooch Thomas who did a great performance as the TV starter here and then finishing in the top spot here. So let's see how this works out here. We roll the two, so that's top group, and then doubles. Of course, doubles means we're going to have a little extra oomph here as you roll doubles with any um, uh, dice here. So it's going to be a duel. Or oh, I apologize, not a duel. There's going to be a problem. So let's do, let's see, we can, make, we can resolve at the beginning or the end of the turn. Let's do something real quick. Let's roll this dice right here. So the problem is going to resolve at the beginning. And then we're going to resolve it at the end, okay? So let's see what happens. So the dots for the beginning or end. So the beginning, we're going to do this at the beginning. So let's resolve the problem at the beginning. Let's see what happens here um, with the problem check. So we rolled a 2 and then a 4-4. Four, four. So um, now if I remember correctly there, um, let's see here. So um, as we're looking here for the problem result, it's going to be one, it's going to be the top group there, guys. And then um, once we figure this out, we're going to actually roll here on the driver finder chart that determines the issue by rolling on the problem finder. And then we'll see what happens here uh, when we roll through all of these checks. So uh, let's see here. So the problem finder here, top group driver finder, red die and white die. So let's see what happens as we roll this die real quick here. Eh, six, three. So six, unless doubles, it'll be the leader here. So, but it's not gonna be doubles. So six is gonna go over to Lonnie Lane there. So Lonnie Lane's gonna be the one that actually has to take on the trouble here. See what ha happens to him here. All right, so trouble in that seventh position here. And it's gonna be a four, oh well, that's, uh, dang it. <laughs> I apologize, guys. I really, uh, a lot of dice makes you wanna roll every one of them. All right, so 51 there. 51 is a lot easier. All right, 51 says spin, drop to front of bottom group. Driver already in bottom group, move to end of group, not front. So it looks like he got spun out there, and he's dropped to the bottom of the, or the front of the bottom group. So Lonnie Lane. Now, can he challenge? I think he can actually get, I'm not sure. Let me check real quick here with the performance chips here, because I think, He's able to fend off a challenge, um, avoid trouble, but he cannot avoid a problem. So it looks like he's spinning out there, guys, and that will uh, take him down because he can't take a performance chip with him to the bottom group. So it looks like he, my friends, will move to the front of the bottom group there, and uh, we're not going to fill the gap because it's not the end of the turn. So he will stay down there, uh, and we will now, uh, because it was, a, it was a two, and then it was two fours there, so that will be... Um, an eight. So an eight on this one will be a star. So for the top group star check, we're going to roll those ones here and see what happens when we roll these checks here. 
Um, whew, that was a, a doozy there for Lonnie Lane. He made his way all the way up there and could not do it. So star is going to be over to um, Pete McAtee. And uh, five will pass his gas pedal check, so he will not be able to do so. Ray, Ray Bob Walker here has a star trait. And a five, he passes that one with his gas pedal, so he's good to go. And then he's going to go over with a six, so Mooch Thomas will be dethroned at this point and move on down as Ray Bob Walker will take the lead again here. Okay, let's roll again here for Brooks Bilovich. Oh, that's a six there. So he will fail that check. Julie Justice, uh, six again there for the red. All right, and a four. So four for Jeff Daly Jr. He will pass that, but a three blue is easy for Ray Bob Walker because he has star plus burst plus two burst bonuses. He will fend off Jeff Daly Jr.'s star check, but if you guys remember, he is a double star, so he gets uh, two attempts at this. And it looks like he will pass through again, but that one blue will be easy for Ray Bob Walker to fend off. So it looks like Ray Bob Walker will take the lead. But if you guys remember in the 310th mile, we had to fill in the gap here and there was no yellow flag. So we will have to try and see if Kerry Cacciola or the next guy up will be able to pass their gas pedal check. So a six will not do it for him in the number two Lowe's car. Shan Hashagan in the Shell car rolls a two and he, my friends, will move up for the first time in the seventh position there. So congrats to him as Marlon McGarry moves up here. We'll see if Lonnie Lane can by chance make his way all the way up to the top position or middle middle group here as we will roll him in as he got spun out um, as he was trying to make a maneuver in the last little 10 mile stretch so a four is over his gas pedal so he will not be able to do so marty moen see if he can get back into the middle group here a five he has a gas pedal I'll check of four so that's not going to happen all right mark fourth in the 76 chevy a three, so he will do it. So good for him there as he moves in. But Lonnie Lane really took the brunt of that uh, lap there. That was not good. Let's try to see if we can get through maybe 40 more miles here, guys. I hope you guys enjoy here as I kind of roll through and try to get uh, almost to the end of this race here. I don't want to take too much time to get through a nice, fun race here. Two again, so that's going to be nine. So if you guys can see a nine here will be reflex. So after all those that spin out by Lonnie Lane, it's going to cause all the drivers to really react the correct way here. So uh, reflex it is here for us. So let's roll for reflex on this end here. And the first one for reflex will be Brooks Bilovich. Okay, so a three, he will pass that one. And a six, guys. So it looks like Ray Bob Walker will be dethroned because no matter if he has... So one reflex, two reflex, plus a burst, plus one, two. He does not have a six, and it also ends at six. So you can never um, you can never go above a five. So Brooks Bilovich is taking the lead here, folks. Hopefully he can uh, keep off Julie Justice in this 10-mile stretch here. Four uh, passes by, but a two. Brooks Bilovich has three, uh, three burst bonuses there, so he will have no problem fending him off. And Jeff Dilley Jr. does not have a reflex. So at this point here, guys, another leader for my friends, Brooks Bilovich will take the lead here. So Bilovich will take the lead for the first time and a fantastic way to do so. Taking on uh, Ray Bob Walker there. And uh, looks like Mooch Thomas is trying to get in the action here. But let's see if this next 10 mile stretch will see the leaders again, folks. Again, will be very, very exciting. Now, Heat, this will be exciting, folks. Um, now, it's not the final four turns. If you guys can see here, um, it shows the little like asterisk kind of uh, thing here. There's probably a word for that. I don't know it. Um, but this little cross thing here says use TV on final four turns. Well, it's not the final four turns just yet. Um, we still probably have about 10 more turns left. Um, so it's going to be heat for this one here in the top group. And the hottest drivers here is going to be Mooch Thomas here going first. Let's see if Moose Thomas will dethrone Brooks Bilovich in the top spot. And he will because he will pass by his check. And then a six blue is an automatic fail there. And unless you have a performance chip, of course. So Moose Thomas will take the top spot here. But Ray Bob Walker is hot. And let's see what he does here. And he rolled a six red. So he will not be able to take on past his gas pedal check. So he will not take on. And Moose Thomas will be the leader again here for 30 miles during this race here and we'll be leading into the 340th mile here uh, as we start getting close to the end of this video here let's roll two more turns or i guess you'd say um is it gonna be two more turns yeah let's roll for two more turns here 
All right, so a five will be the bottom group. So probably this might be the last <laughs> move here as we, of course, don't want to uh, take too much time here, of course, as this video runs a little longer here, right about the 20-minute mark already. Um, so we have right here, oh, that was a six, I think. Oops, it easy. Ew, I'm moving the dice here. Okay, there we go. That was a six. That's 11 here, trouble. So a middle, if you guys saw that, or is a bottom, trouble, I think. So 11 here for trouble. Um, that will be intense. So trouble will be having to go through to see if anybody gets collected in it. And then whoever gets collected gets moved down. Um, but when it's the bottom group, I think, let me check real quick to make sure I have it correct. All right, so um, after kind of consulting real quick with the rule book here, we will be having to go through each individual one here, guys, from the first guys here with, uh, I guess you'd say, Lonnie Lane, all the way down to uh, Parnell Drake. We're going to have to go through and see who gets wrapped up in possibly a big one here, folks, a big maneuver here. There's possibilities that some of these guys may not make it out here. We might see a lot of yellow flag turns here, uh, or at least two minimum, of course. Um, but there is an advanced rule here for, I think it's called the big one. If three or more drivers collected in the top group or six or more drivers in the middle are collected in a single turn, continue rolling for trouble, um, continue rolling for trouble in the next group down. So that is quite impressive there. Um, so let's check it out here, guys, as we go through uh, this trouble section here for us. So, um, all right, let's keep going here. So um, let's see. So escape is going to be... Lonnie Lane here. Let's see if he um, stays fresh here. I'm actually going to turn these cards right here, this bottom group face down here, and uh, we'll see if we, we'll just turn it over so that way we can get it easily done. You guys can see it right here. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can read that, but hopefully you can. Um, but then we'll just roll so that we can kind of get through it and see who's going to go on top or not. So, all right, let's check it through here. Um, does the bottom group go into, I, I just don't know. I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting a little bit confused here um, from the given group. Yeah, so it looks like they, they do have trouble here for the given group. Starting from the leading position. Okay, let's do it here. Um, hmm. Because I don't know, I don't want it to be continually, because like if I do Lonnie Lane, he moves down to the bottom of the group, right? So say, for instance, he's here. Oops, jeez. Don't want to lose positions here. So Lonnie Lane started here, right? He's in the uh, the best position here, so he's only in the position 20. If I move him to here, then we're going to move all the way down, and those guys will continually, you know, you see what I'm saying? They're going to continually move, um, possibly, right? Um, well, we'll just check it out here, and maybe we'll um, try to play it cool. So let's try it again here. We'll play it the way it is here. So, okay. Lonnie Lane here has a escape of nine here. So let's see what happens here as we roll. And escape is no change, so an 11, so he will get collected in it. Um, now it is, of course, with his B rating here, uh, will be trouble here. Now I think it is the final third of the race here at this point. Uh, we are past essentially the 16, 17 mile mark, the second one. So uh, 17 miles left or so. So it will be the final third. And because he has a, C, a B rating, he will be at a six, so a five, because the repair minus that will be five. So five or less. So six, so Lonnie Lane has been eliminated from the race with a big maneuver there, guys, as I put it back up on top there. All right, so he is out, guys. Wow, wee, wee, wah. Lonnie Lane has been collected. He's the first of many here, guys, possibly, that might finish this race because of this big possible maneuver here. All right, so let's go for the next guy here. Okay, Marty Moen here. So seven, and his escape is an eight. So minus, um, well, escape. So he's no problem there. So he will pass by. No problem there. Okay, Kurt Bryson with an escape of nine. He rolls a three, so he's good. Kevin Pettis with an escape of seven. He rolls a seven, so he's good there. Scott Steckel, escape of seven. He rolls 11. Oh, no. So there's 11 here for him. Let's see what happens. His pit crew is a D, so he needs a three. And he rolls a five, so Scott Steckel joins there. Lonnie Lane, who is collected. There's going to be a big amount of people falling, uh, falling down here, guys. Scott Steckel as well here, guys. This might be one of the biggest crashes of the season here, guys, at the end because of the bottom group and because of the last third. All right, so definitely going to have some yellow flag um, 
uh, turns here. Wayne Montana has an escape of 10. He rolls an 8. No problem there. Passes by him. <clears throat> Joey Wilson, he gets through the uh, wreckage here. Jason Leonard, okay, here we go. Uh, 10, he rolls a 4. A 6 for Gary Pine. He rolls a 7, so or, or an 8, shall I say. So he will be collected here. All right, let's see what happens here. Does he get out of it? Nine. His is a B, so he does not, folks. Gary Pine will be taken into it. Man, oh man, guys. This was quite the bad little uh, section here for us. <clears throat> Excuse me there. Man, so three drivers already collected in what seems to be possibly the worst uh, possible thing. Ed Swanson rolled in a six, and he has an escape of four. And he has an E, so his E rating for a trouble means he only gets to roll a two. Snake Eyes and Ed Swanson will be collected as well. So all of these great drivers are already starting to feel the effects of this very tight-knit group there in the back trying to make moves. And Ed Swanson cannot handle the maneuvers as, boy golly, there's a lot of drivers getting collected in possibly one of the biggest crashes of the year. All right, let's keep it going here, guys. <clears throat> Jimmy Velasco, escape of 9, he rolls a 10, so Jimmy Velasco will have to roll it here, and he has a B, so he needs to roll a, a 5, and he rolls a 7, so Jimmy will be in there as well. Okay, I have to keep writing these guys down, because I don't want to miss them as they get taken off here. Velasco, wow, we guys, I apologize if I'm missing this all up here, but I think this is how you do it. <clears throat> Vic Holder, escape of 8, he rolled a 12, <laughs> what? A 12? And then a, a six, and he has a B rating. So his B rating, now because it's a six in the final third, he passes. But because of the minus one here, the Gulf Coast Motor Speedway, he needed to roll a five, and he did not. Vic Holder has been eliminated as well. None of these drivers can get around these great maneuvers here. This, my friends, will be called the big one of the Gulf Oil Classic. Boy, it's almost like an oil spill fell out in the middle of the track here. A ten. And that will catch Alex Hodge as well. So Alex Hodge will be collected here. <coughs> Excuse me there. An eight. So he needs to roll a six or better. And he rolls a nine, folks. A nine for Alex Hodge on his repair roll there. So he will be collected as well. Man, can you guys imagine what's this going to do for the finale? My goodness. I mean, there's not going to be any racers in the bottom group. There's going to be barely any racers already here. Randy Kendrick needs to roll a 10 or less. He rolls an 8. Good for him there. He gets out of it. Jordy Pettis, the TV driver, rolls an 11. His escape is a 9, so he will be collected in it. And he rolls a 3, so he has an A rating. So a 7 or 6 he needs to roll, so he got in there. No problem. And I'm going to put him right on top here because, of course, that is... Um, well, this is kind of how it works here for us. We're just kind of going through um, the top group guys here. So he's going to go right here at the bottom. And I'll notice that he's one of the he's the first guy here. So I'll put it like this. That way I know that's the first guy here uh, or the last place guy who's been moved. Okay, so let's keep on going. Craig Greco with a 9. He rolls an 11. So Craig Greco will be caught in it. And he has a D rating, so he needed to roll a 3, and he rolls an 11, so Craig will be involved in it. And, man, wheels are falling off. Fans are crying. It is definitely mayhem out here. The drivers are wondering whether or not in the top group they should continue the race in absolute incredulism. Here, Francisco Segovia, he has an escape of a 7. He gets out of it with a 7 roll there. Okay, Dick Exum here, 7. He rolls an 8, so he will be... Uh, taken there an E rating he needs to roll a two so snake eyes and he rolls an eight so Dick Exum will be taken in with it there in that three uh, Chevy car there all black and red there so Dick Exum I don't think actually has has he finished a race I'm not really sure if he has or not man he is not done well this year but a lot of drivers here are getting caught up in this fantastic race uh, smash here so Billy Brett the escape here of a eight he rolls a five I apologize and move the dice there but Tom Rossi here a nine oops there's one and a five so he is good to go there Denny Baker with a five he needs to roll a nine here and he rolls a nine no problem there right on the button and the last but not least driver here Parnell Drake 
will be here. He rolls a 10 and he needs an 8. So let's see what happens here. I'll move Jordy Pettis there because he's the last place driver. <clears throat> okay, so Parnell Drake has a B. He needs to roll a 5 and he rolls a 7. So he will be out of there as well. Parnell Drake, one of the drivers who has been absolutely on fire. Absolute pepper here for us. And Parnell Drake will did not finish there, guys. DNF. And there's only going to be 31 drivers possible at this point who are going to finish the race. My friends, that was a massive, a massive blockade there, guys. Now, with the big one here, let me see what happens on the big one here. Uh, six or more collected and then continue rolling for trouble. So we, we can't really roll for the trouble on anyone else. So at this point, we're going to have one, two. So that was 340. This was 350, 360. So it looks like there was a yellow flag <clears throat> caution. And we're going to actually start off the next video here, guys, with a pit stop rolling into the 370th mile here. Folks, thank you again. This is the big one. My goodness, this was one heck of a way to finish it. I hope you guys enjoyed. As you saw, Mooch Thomas now, folks, the absolute underdog coming through here as he gets on TV, doing a really great job here in that Dietrich's Coffee 20 car to capture the lead. I'll see you guys next time. Please drop a like in that button below there. And of course, leave a comment box or a comment for me in that box there for me. Uh, let me know if you guys like what's going on here. If you guys enjoyed, man, geez, seeing all those maneuvers as of course now, look how small that little list is there for the bottom group. Just nobody here is a 31 car driver uh, race at this point. I'll see you guys next time here as we possibly will finish the race here as we only have about 130 miles left. I'll see you guys next time here in the bleachers. Thanks for watching.